Hello and welcome to Working Brick. Today's video is starting off far more cinematic than usual, with a passing shot of the main craft. This is the Hermes space plane, posed in this form in 1985, based on an earlier proposal in 1975. It was meant to be a European Space Agency alternative to the NASA space shuttle, with some, with some major differences, as well, from here you can see, it bears a much closer similarity to the X-20 dinosaur, as it lacks a major payload bay. This was because, as you can see, its launch vehicle was area is in Ariane 5, which could launch large payloads uncrewed. Speaking of launching, that's what we're doing now. A famously high thrust weight ratio on the Ariane 5. And we have uh, three crew on board, which is actually not the maximum uh, for uh, this model, which is from the Crusader mod KNES. Yeah, it's uh, based on a real life acronym for a real life uh, just aerospace uh, center that uh, I'm honestly not going to uh, make any attempt at pronouncing the name of. Yeah, it's a, a mod that I feel is under discussed. And so, as you can see, the flight is uh, going well. I've uh, flown a pretty uh, steep ascent profile, since we have a low thrust weight ratio upper stage, and also this thing will flip over if uh, the if if the angle of attack gets too high, since we have a bunch of uh, lift at the uh, top of the rocket. As you can see there, I spent far too much time getting the uh, flags right on uh, on the uh, European Space Agency decal. And so well, now we're continuing on. And, okay, so I'll just quickly admit to something. You might see on the uh, on the uh, toolbar on the uh, right side, you can see the uh, hyper edit logo. Because basically, I accidentally launched this craft with too much mob repellent on it. And since I'm using Kerbal Construction Time, I didn't want to spend a bunch of time rolling back the craft just to remove some molar propellant. So yeah, I used Time Product to drain some of the molar propellant from the craft on the launch pad. I feel this constitutes a fair use of Hyper Edit. But yeah, I just want to complain about that. Yeah, as you saw, the craft just successfully reached orbit and it deployed its radiators. We actually didn't even fully burn through the second stage. Now we're launching up a module to rendezvous with and to rendezvous with the space plane to extend our mission duration. However, removing the monoprevent inadvertently removed the fuel source fuel source or the fuel cell on board the space plane, and so it's now running out of, it's now running out of electric charge. So I'm now rushing to get this module docked, which has solar panels to prevent the crew from dying from multiple different ways. As you can see, it's based on the ATV. And yeah, it's based on a real life proposal. It's a, it's, a, it's a laboratory module that can be self-flying. And now you've seen an Ariane 5 launch today. I'll we'll skip to uh, when we're doing our very expensive, essentially a dog leg maneuver to correct our inclination. And uh, I finally remember to uh, turn uh, Kerbalism uh, engine failures back on, as you saw there. So I'm using RCS to conserve ignitions. And yeah, you can see a solar panel is an antenna deployed on the module. And already we're beginning to uh, rendezvous with the target. Now from here it's a fairly standard uh, rendezvous procedure. And yeah, I realize that this is, like, this was a unrealistic uh, flight trajectory. But again, it's because I really messed up with the model propellant. I'm pretty sure I accidentally drained the model propellant from both the space plane and its service module. As you can see, the craft is both the uh, space plane and a hatch service module. That service module is supposed to be uh, full of model propellant. 
what some of them thinks anyways. And uh, well they weren't well they weren't full. And I assume that's probably why we uh, ran out of just, we ran out of a bomb Lente so quickly. So we're already approaching the dock. I cut out uh, most of that uh, docking procedure because uh, it was uh, painfully long as uh, one of the craft had lost electric charge and was uh, unable to orient it, orientate itself. Now we're on our final approach. I'm just getting the uh, docking ports aligned, and it's, it's, it's important the, rota the rotation of the ports uh, match. And there we go. And so now, uh, there's a, a nice uh, sunrise over our Minecraft. The crew are no longer at risk of uh, dying due to uh, just uh, dying due to several causes related to a lack of electric charge. And we can actually do a quick IVA tour of the uh, module, since uh, this uh, mod uh, is uh, fully compatible with a uh, free IVA. No, okay, so this is not directly related to this video. I'm just going to say that lately I've been feeling like less motivated to play Carl Space Room lately. And so just, I've been thinking about uh, just playing some other, uh, just, or just playing some other games, doing just some other stuff with this channel. Because again, I'm getting demotivated, I don't have, I just, I'm not as, I'm not as interested in playing this game right now. So yeah, just... There might be a, I might make a second channel. Just, just, just know that in the future stuff will happen relating to this channel. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what will. But yeah. Anyways, basically since we don't have long propellant in the uh, Hermes, I had to use the uh, the uh, long, the secondarily uh, launched module to deorbit the craft. And once that's done. Or well, we can just uh, correct our at our uh, angle of attack, and all right. I hadn't done much uh, reentry testing with this, and so I was uh, unsure of how to properly uh, do the reentry profile uh, for a targeted landing. And uh, speaking of uh, the uh, targeted landing, so the uh, landing uh, so where I was going to land is at uh, the French Carolina Space Center that we launched from. I realized that uh, the most likely uh, landing site uh, for the Hermes uh, would have been in European France. However, uh, those run like any runways there are not modeled in a curve scale real solar system, and also it's simpler to uh, just uh, go into an equatorial orbit and land uh, back where I launched. Well, all of that is uh, mute anyways, uh, since I messed up my reentry profile. And we're going to uh, land a bit short of French Guiana, and I believe we're going to be landing in a Suriname. As you can see below us, there's actually uh, some debris uh, from there's some debris uh, from the uh, rusted vehicle. And now the uh, reentry flames are dying down, and immediately I've uh, broken from the angle of attack I was holding. And I'm trying to get as much uh, distance uh, from this glide as possible. Now, thankfully, we're over a pretty uh, flat area, so uh, we can uh, land uh, pretty much anywhere here. Not much is really happening as we continue to glide it down. I'm continuing to play the footage back at a higher rate, 
which I did remove the video because, again, it's already long enough. And now, we're on our uh, final uh, landing approach for this uh, random field. And it's going to be a pretty rough landing, a bit of a bounce there. But the craft is intact, we can deploy the uh, air brakes and come to a halt again in a random uh, field. I want to uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye!